to show you how to assemble a smart robot car. So let's get started. Okay, so let's open this. This is our baseboard. And these are the two wheels. These are the two wheels. Now these are the two motor pieces. This is the hammer capsule. And this is the battery container. In this package we have our screw bars. Our long screw bars and the short screw bars and the flat top screw bars. And we have our nuts and we have spacers. Now in this box, now in this container, we have our disc and our switch. And four fastener pieces. Okay, so uh, I have opened all the packets. And last but not least, we have our screwdriver. Okay, now let's start building the smart robot car. So first we take our base bed. This is the baseboard. Okay, now let's first put the motors. So how to put the motors? Take our first fastener, which is over here. And uh, can you see these both holes? Right over here. These two holes is where we're gonna put our fast fasteners and these bits. So let's take our first fast. Fastener and just insert it. Now just insert it through this hole like this. See? So this is the bottom and this is the top. It should be like that. Now we are going to take our motors and put a fastener like this. Always remember that your motor should be always like this. Do you want to know why? Because our tires are coming this. Now let's take our nail which has, which is a long nail. So let's take our long nail and take and just place it like this. So first how we put it is, we first take the nail and through the holes you just uh, first, you first uh, uh, you just insert it through the hole and push. Now the second one, and see, it's, and the second one is just like this one. Insert and push. Now we got our screws. See, inserted. Okay, now let's. Now it's not tight, right? So let's put. Our nuts. So these are these are our nuts. We have eight pieces of nuts, but we just need two now. Now let's place them over here. So just turn it. See, so in the end of the uh, so at the end of the screws, we will just put our nuts. First, we should always put the last one in the first. First one. So, how to put a nut is just put it in the put it in the uh, end, uh, end screw end of the screw and just tighten it like like so. And then now we'll just take our screwdriver and we'll just tighten that screws. A little bit more. Okay, so we are done with the first motor. So the first motor is red. It's like this. Okay, now let's put the second motor. Okay, now, so we, so we put our two motors. Okay, now. Now let's put the switch. So putting the switch is super easy. You just need to take the switch and over and just turn it upside down where the motors are. So the motor should be below it. Done. And push it until you hear a little slight click. The hammer caster and put it. So putting the hammer caster is easy. First. You have to, have to take a screw. 
through and just insert it like that and then take and then take a spacer and just screw it in the screw. Now do it like that for all the screws. And always remember to hold your screw while you are putting the spacer, otherwise your screw will just pop out like this. See, I didn't hold the screw so the screw just popped out. So always hold the screw when you are putting the spacer. Okay, perfect. So we put all the spacers in. Now, Let's take our base board and just put it. Oh, it's, it's not that. Uh -huh. okay. okay, but now you think, oh no, I made a mistake because now I can't go through. But this is not a mistake. You should put a spacer like this because then it would add a little height. Now let's turn the board upside down. have a round top yeah and always remember to uh, in the hammer caster yes in the hammer caster to re always remember to put the round top screw not the flat top screw or the long screw there are round top screws and flat top screws see this is the long uh, this is the round top screw. Can you see? See, this is the round top screw. And this is the flat top screw. See, it's flat. Okay, now, let's put the round top screw. So, and always be sure it is uh, tightening your because if it's not tight then it will just fall off so now let's just keep it down to the bottom carefully and take a screwdriver and now we are going to put the battery right over here ok guys so can you see these both holes so that's where we are going to put our battery container Okay, now let's take the tires and now let's put it right over here. Okay, now I'm going to take the discs and I'm going to put the discs on the other side of the tire. So I'm done putting the wheels and now we have finished the assembly of our car. Now what we have left to do is put the batteries and connect the wires. So I finished putting my batteries. Now it's time to connect the wires. I hope you enjoyed my video and also try to make a smart robot car. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.